Hi, I'm Jacqueline Fung and this is Making the Call. MIDF Research has revised its 2015 earnings growth outlook for the banking sector from positive to negative. The new estimate is now negative 0.2%, down from positive 1% previously. For 2016, it projects a recovery for the sector of positive 7.8%, slightly lower than its previous estimates, which stands at 9.8%. Modest loan growth, lower net interest margin contraction, lower OPEX and slight improvement in non-interest income are expected to contribute to this recovery. The research house maintains a neutral rating for the sector. Cumulative core net profit growth for the sector remains subdued at negative 1.3% year-on-year for the first nine months of 2015. The third quarter of 2015 result of AMMB, AFIN and RHB cap were below expectations, mainly due to lower than expected non-interest income. However, core earnings at Alliance Financial Group, CIMB, Maybank, Public Bank and Hongleong Bank came in within expectations. Now let's move on to the property sector. MIDF Research expects lower sales trend to continue in the first half of 2016. The research house is keeping a neutral call for the sector. For the third quarter of 2015, the house price index growth of 5.4% is the lowest in five years. MIDF has a buy call for SP Satya, target price 3 ringgit 70 sen. It also has a buy call for Glomac and expects the company's earnings growth to be strong in 2016, target price 1 ringgit 8 sen. Afin Huang Capital Research, meanwhile, is maintaining a buy call for Sunway Berhad. Its target price for the stock remains unchanged at 3 ringgit 90 sen, but it's revising its FY15 to FY17 earnings per share forecast slightly by 3 to 5%. Afin Huang likes Sunway because of its inexpensive valuation of 0.6 times price to revalue net asset value, and it believes the current weakness in share price provides a good opportunity to accumulate the stock. At last look, Sunway was trading at 3 ringgit and 5 sen. And that's it for making the call. I'm Jacqueline Fung. Thank you for watching.